Hi everybody and welcome back to SE Aviation. Do you know the difference between altitude and elevation? AGL and MSL? Elevation and height? In this video I will explain the different types of altitudes in aviation. Enjoy! Before we start, I want to say that all the information that I will give was taken from the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, a great book, very recommended, that is available for free from the FAA website. So, altitude, elevation and height. Let's first dive into altitudes. An altitude is an indication of vertical distance from an airplane to a reference point in the Earth. That said, we do have different types of altitudes. Indicated, pressure, density, true and absolute altitude. Your indicated altitude is simply the reading in your onboard altimeter. That is it. It could be wrong, it could be right, it could make absolutely no sense, but whatever you read in your altimeter is your indicated altitude. Then we have our pressure altitude, which is the altitude above the mean sea level or MSL calculated with a standard pressure reference. That standard assumes 15 degrees centigrade of temperature at sea level and 1013 hectopascals of atmospheric pressure. But since weather conditions are rarely standard, this type of altitude could be inaccurate. That is why it is corrected with an altimeter setting. But more about that in another video. Then we have the density altitude. This is the altitude calculated in standard atmospheric conditions at which the air would have the same density as the air at a specific point. For example, let's say we are at an airport at sea level, but the air is very very hot, it's a cruel summer, way above standard conditions. Since hot air has a reduced density, an airplane flying from this airport would behave in terms of performance like an airplane flying in a higher airport, because a higher airport in standard conditions would have that same air density. That is why this altitude is called density altitude, and it is mostly used for performance calculations by aviation engineers. Also by pilots, but not that much. Our last altitudes are the easiest ones, true and absolute altitude. The true altitude is the vertical distance from the airplane to the mean sea level, and the absolute altitude is the vertical distance from the airplane to the ground level. Now, that is in theory, but getting those numbers in real life is very difficult. The true altitude should be pressure altitude corrected with a correct altimeter setting. And the absolute altitude, since ground level changes all the time, mostly when flying above mountains, you know, is usually calculated either with a radio altimeter or via GPS. Now, moving from altitudes, there are two other terms that can cause confusion. Elevation and height. Height is the same as absolute altitude, the distance to the ground. An elevation is like the true altitude but of terrain, so the distance from the ground level to the mean sea level, or from AGL to MSL. This is why we don't talk about the elevation of airplanes, but we do talk about the elevation of airports or mountains. That is all for today, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!